Hey guys, tfisher 88 here with a figure review. A figure review? <laughs> Wait, a figure review, really? Yes, a figure review, as I've stated many times already. I know it's been a while since I've actually posted a review, but I decided to go ahead and do one, get that done. And for once, I'm actually going to be reviewing something that's pretty new. And, well, here it is. The new Bandai Ultraman Saga. Pretty cool, huh? So yeah, this is actually really new. I, if I remember correctly, this was released in January of this year. So, new. Yeah, new. Ooh. So yeah, um, I have him in his box right now. And I'm going to get to showing off the box, well, now. So here's his box. Ultra Hero series here at the top. Subaraya. Ultraman Saga. Ultra Hero series. He is an EX figure. This little banner thing, which I'm sure is talking about how the movie is coming out. Um, apparently it's March 24th. Got all this. There's Saga himself. Looks pretty darn awesome. So he is the newest Ultraman in the series, which is pretty awesome. Side here, really nice side, well not a uh, full profile pic, basically showing off how awesome he is. And that at the bottom is a, it shows a, pi a picture of a feature that this guy has that I'll get to in the review in you know, just a little while. Here's the back. Just another picture, some more info. He's apparently 58 meters tall, so he's taller than your regular Ultraman. Just some other info, blah, blah, blah. And just, yeah, same picture. So, yeah, that's pretty darn cool. So let's go ahead and actually get to the figure itself. All right, so here he is, Ultraman Saga. Now, outside of the box, I know he looks a little bit smaller. But, yeah, he's just a your basic Ultraman figure but yeah still really darn awesome we're gonna get to everything awesome about it now so yeah articulation is basic I mean just the three basic points for an Ultraman arms rotate 360 as does the torso and that's it now to be honest when I was buying this I kind of expected a few more little articulation points um, I shouldn't have been so expecting because well it's just an Ultraman it's just gonna have the same basic points as every single other one that there's ever been by Bandai but oh well now the paint job is well it's not entirely accurate well actually this does look pretty accurate when I'm, I'm looking at the box right now, and it does look pretty accurate. Uh, the figure itself is, well, I'm not exactly sure what it, vinyl it's molded out of. Yeah, it looks like it's molded out of this purple, red, pink vinyl. And then it's got, you know, the gold highlights here and the sort of metallic blue-looking highlights on the body itself and the shoulders, which looks really good. And of course, the silver on the head and neck and everything. Looks pretty darn awesome. So yeah, paint job. Looks really good. So let's move on to detail. Now, we haven't actually gotten to see much of Ultraman Saga since the movie hasn't been released yet. But from what we I have seen and what we all have probably seen, he looks pretty darn awesome. And the figure, what I can tell, captures that pretty nicely. Although, you know, we've only seen promos and trailers and everything. That looks pretty good right there. Now, the detail on it is um, a little bit more intricate than your standard Ultraman, like the original Ultraman that I have. One other thing I forgot to mention about the molding is the chest, shoulders, and eyes are translucent. Well, we'll be getting to that in just a bit. See all these cracks and everything? They look pretty good. Fist. Punch the camera. Something like that. 
did it, everything looks pretty cool on this back here the back looks intricately done as well so yeah from what I can tell detail on this figure is pretty accurate to the Ultraman Saga suit now let's go ahead and move on to scaling really quick let's just go ahead and pull out the original Ultraman <laughs> No, he wants to fall. You were in a box. Why are your feet deformed? Oh well. This is kind of odd. Um, Ultraman Saga and the original Ultraman don't even look eye to eye. So technically, well, they're about the same height. It's just he's kind of shorter than him, this guy, which is kind of weird. I well, Ultraman is 40 meters and. Ultraman Saga is 58 meters, so he should be tall. But, oh well. Nothing to really nag about. Shit. And, yeah. Now, I, from what you've seen, I do have the opponent that he faces in the film. But I'm not going to pull him out yet, because I'll do a review on him pretty soon. So, yeah. As for history, since the movie hasn't been released yet, all I know is that Ultraman Saga, along with Ultraman Zero, Ultraman Cosmos, and Ultraman Dyna take on Hyper Zeton and Alien Bat in the upcoming film Ultraman Saga. And to be honest, I really don't know anything other than that. I'll just have to see the movie whenever it is you know, released on DVD and is able to be imported here to the States. So yeah, so that's the basic history since the film hasn't been released yet. Oh yeah, and you wanted to know about the chest and everything, right? Well, I'll show you. He glows in the dark. How awesome is that? Personally, I think that is really, really awesome. So yeah, Ultraman Saga is actually a pretty nice Ultra figure even though he only has the three basic points for articulation and everything. But yeah, I'd recommend it. It's pretty awesome, and I cannot wait to be able to see the movie, Ultraman Saga, whenever it's able to be seen here in the United States. So yeah. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this review, and until next time, I'll see you.